if you've got up to 170 inches worth of screen, we're going to see if this projector works out for you. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We got the GoFun, not GoFun, like GoFunny, but GoFun C7 mini projector in the house. There is nothing to this box. Wait a minute. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's nothing to this box. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. I don't want to bore y'all with some anticlimactic unboxing. So, got two boxes in here, or two things. We got the projector itself, which is pretty mini to standards of a uh, projector. We'll just unwrap it. This is cute. <laughs> that's, that's just adorable. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. And then let's see what's in the accessories box. Cause you got to have your accessories to make sure this thing is working properly. So we get a remote control here. So we've seen remotes like this here before. Got your power, your mute, your reverse and forward. And you got your play and pause. You got your uh, okay button in the middle. And you got your dial pad basically with your volume uh, down and up on there as well. Source menu exit. And this looks like another forward and back. Oh, okay, so this is just uh, kind of to rewind and this is just to skip backwards and forwards. Then we have a foot screw right here. I guess this is to just adjust the angle if you got it on a tabletop or something like that. We have an HDMI cable and then, oh, okay, so, okay, there we go. So we have a power cable right here, which is a two prong. This is different, but since it's a mini projector, maybe that's why I usually get a three prong with this. Then you got an AV cable right here with a 3.5 on one side. Then it splits up into a left, right, and a video cable. That way you can plug it into an outside source. Last but not least, we got some instructions. We may or may not need these. Let's just keep them handy. Put that box over to the side and let's look at the start of the show. Go fun. No, it's co fun. I thought that was a G. It's co fun. <laughs> co fun. That's different. All right. So let's take off this cap right here. Nothing special about that. Then you have your lens. It says mini projector 16 by 9 or 4.3. Then here, this looks like an infrared sensor. Let's flip it over to the bottom before we go anywhere else. So you got your little rubber feet right there that keeps it from sliding around. And like I said, this is kind of a foot. Let's put it in that one right there. And that kind of lifts it up almost like a kickstand. That way, if you have it on a table or something, you can just uh, kind of screw it in or out and make your fine adjustments as needed. Then you got a quarter insert right here, which means you can mount this on a tripod, which also means you can pretty much mount this thing any way you want. Now let's go around to the back. That's where you have your power input. Then you have an IR sensor and that looks to be a tiny little speaker. Let's go around to the other side and this is where some business happens, man. We've got AV input for this plug right here. And then you have a uh, headphone jack right there, 3.5 millimeter. Then you've got your U, which is USB. Then you got your HD, which is your HDMI port right there. Then you got a VGA and a memory card slot. And you got some openings for fans on, looks like both sides maybe. All right, so that, oh, wait a minute, we gotta go to the top. We have what looks to be a volume up and volume down, a forward and back. And then you got an exit, a menu. Uh, maybe an enter button and then a power toggle right there or power button I should say and this yeah this is uh, your tilt right here our keystone and this is gonna be your focus ring because this one goes a lot further now being a budget mini projector you might want to start managing your expectations I know I am during this review but this thing is supposed to put out 1080p at a uh, 16 by 9 ratio up to 170 inches now the screen I have is 120 so it ought to be a pretty good picture right so let's just go see how this thing works let's go oh Okay, I wanted to give you a little bit of a volume test. Uh, that was full volume with my microphone pretty much, uh, I would say about six inches away from the projector right there. I've got it set up and it's uh, the middle of the day right now. You can see my shutters are closed but I do have a wide open window and a very bright space in here. And I wanted to show you how this image looks in a, uh, I guess a mildly lit room or a semi dim room. Uh, it's actually not too shabby. Trust me, I will definitely give you a full darkness picture. I just wanted to show you what it would look like in a mildly dim room. When you look on Amazon, they clearly say in the description that they don't recommend this for use uh, for business presentations such as PowerPoints and things like that. But I don't know, you might be able to get away with it. I'm not sure. So here we are in total darkness. As you can see, the picture is much more vibrant and saturated, even though it definitely needs a little bit of tweaking right out of the box. My screen is 120 inches and the throw distance for that is roughly 13 feet. 
it feels like you're getting about 15 degrees worth of tilt with the keystone correction. And speaking of that, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it gets a little, little bit blurry on the top and the bottom of the screen, depending on the tilt angle, so you'll have to adjust the focus accordingly. The fan is pretty quiet, so if you end up sitting close to it, you won't be too annoyed. To sum it all up, it's a $90 mini projector. If you want to entertain some kids for a while or take it on a camping trip, I say go for it. If you're into ultra high definition gaming and movie watching, you might want to consider raising your budget a little bit. I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, I'm just doing reviews. But if you had a good time hanging out with me, go ahead and throw those emoji hands up in the comments section, and I'll see y'all at the next one.